All right, hey guys, it is Drum Machine Addicts. We are back again. This time we're going to talk to you about Machina 2.4. Now, this is a beginner's tutorial, so if you haven't used the software before or if you recently purchased a Machina, this is for you. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to set up your audio inputs and outputs because Machina doesn't do that for you and you won't be able to hear anything if you don't do it properly. So you go to File, you go to Audio MIDI Settings, and then you click on your driver. Now say if you're using an external sound card and not the internal sound card, you'll have different options besides core audio and you just pick the one that you're using and then you go down to your device and click on the preamp that you're using if you're using a preamp at all. I'm using a preamp to generate sound into the microphone so that I can record this video. Now say if the preamp was connected to monitors and I was using that for my output, I would click that as well. I would click my preamp so that the monitors can receive that sound. And then I would head over to the routing and make sure front left and front right are in these first two and that they correspond with Machina left and right. After that, you click OK. Now, your input outputs are set up. From there, what you want to do is start a new group. Why are you starting a new group? Because the way Machina works is you have groups A through H and those continuously go on if you need more groups. Each group has 16 sounds. So this is how you load your sounds in each individual sound until you reach 16 and then you can start another group or do it any kind of way. So let's say in this first sound I want to add a VST plugin so that I can go ahead and start creating. Uh, I think I'll choose Massive, okay? Alright, so as you can see Massive is loaded. These are the different pages for if you want to map parameters to it, but given that it's native instruments, a lot of the um, a lot of them are already pre-assigned, which is really dope. Anyway, so I've clicked on Massive. Massive has opened up. Um, and now I can start loading presets and doing anything I want on that end. Now, let's say that I just want to do a quick pattern. Before I want to do the pattern, though, I want to mess with the BPM. I don't want it at 120. I want it at 97. So what I can do is use my mouse and click down and get it down to 97. All right, and now that I have it at 97, I like the time signature and everything. Let's say I move the grid to 116. Now, what the grid does is essentially say, okay, when I'm tapping my notes, it'll put it on, it'll quantize it to that to that notation, and that's very important because sometimes you could tap your drum patterns in the machine, and if it's on quick, it'll be off beat, and quantizing it can become a bit of a hassle. So let's record a quick pattern. All right, I'm gonna quick click the record button. And then I'm going to click play. <clears throat> All right. Now, as you can see, I just kind of tapped anything, any kind of way. Um, and this is what we came up with so far. So if I want to, I can just kind of move this forward and restart this. And as you can see, this is what we have so far. I'm shortening the pattern so it doesn't play as long. All right. Now, let's say I want to add another group. I want to add my drums in there this time. Then what I do is I go here. And if you see on the left side, these are the sounds that already come with the machine or software. If you purchase machine 2.0. And let's say I want to add the Abbey Rose drum kit. It's now popped up. Now, notice this grayed out section right here of pattern one. That's just to show that that's where pattern one stops and that pattern two or excuse me, group uh, B is a full four bar. So I can just play that. All right. And as you can see, that's a really, really whack pattern right there. But as you can see, these are how uh, groups work. And if you see up here, these are scenes. So machine works in scenes as well. You can also use this for arranging. So you could just rename this to intro if you wanted to. And then you could duplicate it or you could just add another blank scene and program it how you will. So this is just an intro, uh, general introduction to the machine of software. If you continue with the tutorials, we'll show you how to make better beats. We'll break down more things about where you can find your sounds and how to load effects and how to do automation. So please feel free to click that subscriber button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And check back with us at drummachineaddicts.com. 
If you have any questions, go to drummachineaddicts at gmail with your questions and we'll get back to you ASAP. Hit that subscribe button and have a good day. Peace.